Greetings, this is Jeff. I'm going to show you how to get started using UDoodle. So let's dive right in. To get started using UDoodle, most people want to draw on top of a photo, so I'll show you how to do that first. To do that, tap the new button, which is that plus icon in the top right, and then tap draw on top of a photo. Now any of these options here are going to replace your current drawing, so make sure you've saved your work before you choose any of these. I'm going to pick one of the built-in U-Doodle backgrounds. I like this horse here. I don't need to crop, I'm going to just leave the original size. Now a lot of people want to draw a quick arrow or write a word on the photo or maybe even scribble out somebody's name so they can't see it. I'm going to just draw a quick arrow to highlight this horse in the back. Write a quick word here. Some excellent penmanship. And in a matter of seconds you've marked up your photo, drawn an arrow, and you can then share this with the share button in the top left. There are a ton of sources here. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, camera roll, other social networks. So tons of options there for your social networking needs. So that's how you draw on top of a photo. Now there's something of note here. When I'm using these draw tools here, when I've chosen the draw on top of a photo option, like if I erase, you'll notice that it's not erasing the photo underneath. Now this is very important to note because I chose draw on top of a photo. That means my photo is in the background. This arrow here is on the foreground. So when you tap this layers button in the bottom right and view layers, you can see the arrows on the foreground and the horses in the background. Now there's another common case for using UDoodle and that's to edit a photo. For example, you may want to blur something or smudge something or use the clone stamp tool. All of these draw tools work on the foreground only. So I'll show you how this works now. If you tap the plus button in the top right again, this time pick edit a photo. You'll notice that the graphic there shows your photo on the foreground. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna choose this horse again. Now a very important thing to note is when I tap layers and then layers again, my horse is on the foreground. So if I start erasing, I'm actually changing the photo. You can see that the transparency is now showing through. I'm going to tap undo and show you how now that you could blur smudge your photo. So here's the smudge tool. Some people like to use this to make kind of a painty misty effect. Some people like to use the blur tool to hide sensitive areas. Let's say I didn't want anyone to recognize my horse. I could blur his face. There now you you would never be able to tell whose horse that is. There's other tools like the clone stamp tool, which is one of my favorites. You can clone parts of your image. All these tools are discussed in other tutorials, but you can start drawing and it draws where your clone stamp started, which is kind of cool if you need to replicate part of your image somewhere else. Finally, I get asked this a lot. People say, how do I delete my drawing? I want to clear it out. And that's easily done by tapping that plus button again in the top right and tapping start over blank. And now your drawing is cleared out. You can start fresh. That covers about the basic use case for you, Doodle. Thanks for watching. Please share your drawings on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. If you have any questions, email support at udoodle.net and have a wonderful day.